be a name like Gossi Go Faith, a man's picture and female gender. If you go also to Amoma Primary School, pulling in 01, you will see a name like Grifty Adam, a man with a female picture. If you go to Pulunyini 01, same Omoma, you see a name like Hans Bira, a woman's picture and a male gender. Then you continue also, in the, you go to Umuhu Primary School 001, you see a man's picture, female gender, a name called Lanley Allen. We are talking of Omoma where you have names like Nkechi Adak. Then you go to uh, uh, the same Umuhu Primary School, you go to you see a name Luna Elomo, a woman's picture and male gender. You see another name, Makati Yoso, Japanese name. You see a, 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 a female picture and a man's uh, gender. This is how all of them is. So I will not. I will give the copies to all of you and we'll share to Nigerians also. Now, when we went through the register, we discovered thousands of these foreigners in the register. We named such as Grifty Adam, Hinsbre, Flood Gary, Ford Scott, Ghana Stella, Hood Killer, Harren Drake, Gruti Silas, Lenly Allen, Luna Amo, Lower Rizafana, Makati Yusio, Muru Amba, Morono Lee, Maurice Dakwam, Navarro Dakwam, Tyson Kata. They are all in their thousands in Hopus Ademas village, Omoma Ward in Imo State. We are using Omoma and Imo as a test case of what has been done to over 18 states in the country. It is, however, very instructive that it will be discovered from the data in the register that we shall make available to you that all these fake registrants, both old and young, as can be seen from their photos, all have the same date of birth, 1983, including the grandmothers there. Nigerians will also see new registrants, which are, when you go to page four of this, you will see people that were born in 1900, 1902, 1912, 1913, 1931, all in Hopus of the Mass Village registered among this new registration. Which are names we believe we are from a death register in New Zealand. Names like Abraham, Jack, Dave also appear against female photos. Further, faces that are obviously quite old are seen with death or bad like 1990, 1993, 2000, 2002. You will also find obviously female names such as Rebecca, Jane, Gloria, Mary, Felicia against male photos and also see photos of women wearing hijab yet answering village names uh, in Omoma, in thousands. I need to remember that Omoma is the rural east in Oslo, where the activities of unknown government is very high, and I make office have been burnt. Male gender, male gender were assigned to female photos, and female gender assigned to male photos. What a shame for a party in power to be involved in this type of electoral treason. It is like that all over the states. In many polling units in Uguta, in Mbano, in Oru East, in Idato South, you will see similar things. You will see that it was passport photograph that we are used to register majority of the names found in the register. In words like Obioha, Obioha is, 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 is important for you to note here. There is new polling units in Obioha where they have the health centers and the Mumebe Manumo all are contained here. The entire new polling unit Scanned passport photos were used for the registration, including barrier pictures. You will see them. They even snapped it from the frame with no shame. It wasn't even a professional work. So, in words like all you are here in Idatosat, in Eastern Kennedy, one and two, all in Idatosat, you will find the scanning of passport photos and pictures from, from brochures with which registration was done. And all of you remember that the beavers captures the picture of the person it is registered. So how come people had access to the password and were able to upload passport photos and burial pictures and created names for them to be registered? It is like that, statewide and nationwide, in almost the 22 APC control states. It is very obvious from the register that these were not captured human faces, but photos that were captured and uploaded to the register with fake names and fake biometrics. At this juncture, it is right we we'll ask some questions to the APC, the presidency and security agencies. Who generated these photos and these foreign names? Whose real identities are exposed when you search them from the Google? How did the APC and their agents and those behind this monumental fraud get access to the INEC machine with which they committed this heinous crime? How did this person have access into the INEC database to be able to upload these fake identities particularly where many of them are discovered to be in the new pooling unit created by INEC. 
Furthermore, gentlemen, the coordinator of the illegal registration in Imo State, for instance, was a former INEC staff who was the head of the State Electoral Commission and who, who has now been promoted to a 